Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and this is the Farming Simulator 19 uh, Ravenport map. It's the mod map and I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. We're going to do a tutorial on basically you see right here these rocks and these trees and there's this little bitty bump right there. Well pretty much I had a a viewer or a subscriber uh, ask a question about why can't they basically use the terraform and basically make this flat or whatever bring that bump down and and the problem is something you need to change in Giants editor at least that's that's how I fixed it now if there's another way of fixing it in here I haven't I haven't even tried so uh, but, well, actually, I did try a couple ways. I heard of some other ways, and I tried, but they didn't quite work. Uh, not that they don't work, I just didn't quite get it to work, so. Uh, but anyway, what, we, what you're going to do, if you're having problems, and you want to see if you can fix it to where it'll let you, and if, if it's blocking you and saying, oh, you can't, uh, the terrain, uh, not, you can't modify it, or whatever it says, uh, just do this and it should work. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope that viewer uh, finds this helpful and they can get their little spot fixed up. And I tried a couple things and it seemed to work. And I don't know. I tried a different map of Ravenport. A new one. Another mod map. This is the same map but you know it's just a new mod map when you make it fresh. And it didn't have the same issues. So I'm going to try to go over them. So if you have having different issues, maybe one of these things will cover it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to get rid of the stuff. Get rid of the rock. Make sure that when you click on it, that you're not just getting this. Or this. Because then you're going to have problems. Make sure it's the whole parent to that group. Because those are the children right here. And basically those are just the, the LOD. Uh, you know. So we got to get this whole thing. So then you're going to hit delete on the keyboard. Now, we're going to get rid of the trees. And same thing, you want to get the whole thing. If you get that, it's not good enough. If you get that, it's not good enough. So now, we're going to make sure we re-click on it. And we got the whole thing highlighted, the whole parent. We're going to hit delete. And we're just going to delete whatever we need. And I'm going to try to hurry. It's kind of jamming. Okay, the computer's either jamming or it's just me. There we go. Alright, make sure the same thing on the trees. Try not to click uh, delete until you look in your scene graph and make sure that you've gotten everything. Because if you don't, you'll have a collision there. You'll have all kind of issues. Um, but so far it looks okay. And I'm trying to delete all this stuff to clear our area so we can show that it will work and do what it needs to do. I think I got all that one. Not too worried about those. Those wasn't really the issue. We will we'll get these little trees out of the way just just because. Okay. Let's roll in and get a little closer. Alrighty. This little tree says nope. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Come on. What is going on with that little tree? There we go. Bad little tree. Alright. Let's just go on and get rid of these so we don't have any issues. Alright. And one more. No, not that one. Right there. Alright. Next, we need to get rid of the bushes. All of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and roll down. If you don't have these little tabs or windows uh, open, go to window and pick the one you need. And in this case, we're going to go to the terrain editing. Uh, so you click that. And then you would also need uh, the scene graph, obviously. But And we're going to go use the foli foliage layers too. Uh, but what we're going to do is go to foliage layer, go down to bush uh, US01, and we're going to click on the foliage uh, mode, paint mode. And we're going to go roll up in this, uh, this terrain editing box, 
and we're going to make sure it's on subtract on the left mouse button in this case or you could use the right mouse button and put it on subtract uh, it's up to you and then click it and then get rid of all this mess I'm just going to take it all the way to the field here you take it wherever you need it and I'm going to just get rid of that now I don't know that you necessarily have to get rid of that I just I just did because of what I was doing so you could try not not getting rid of that part just get rid of the bushes but I just got rid of it all okay now uh, now when I first did it I had hit this uh, sculpt mode and I made a little divot here like a basically a pond looking thing just a little deep hole and when I did I noticed a little dark dirt and it wasn't any of the dirt like mud or any of that it wasn't mud dark wasn't any of these I tried to get rid of it to erase it you know how you would do and it wouldn't let me so I'm like well which one is it so I kept stumbling around until it was I clicked on the weed and I still wasn't getting it then I put it on I believe I put it on uh, this top one here or one of them whichever one either small alive or big alive either one I don't remember and uh, basically I was able to get rid of it so if you have something there that's not supposed to be there and you can't get it, rid of it and it's not one of those dirt or different things textures try some of these and see if it's that like go down the list um, and see what you got here you know so but in this case there was one that said state one and two that I messed with. I don't know where it is. Oh, it was this one on the bush. I had done bush uh, state one and then two. I think there was some more that, or something. But whatever the case, you get the point. All right, so now once we've done that, we've gotten rid of the bushes. We've gotten rid of the trees and the rocks and all the stuff in the way. We're just wanting this one little spot to go down. That's the spot that would not go down for the viewer so now what I did after that is I tried a couple things I'll show you what I tried just to help you out and let me go down see this tip cool all right I clicked on it well actually I didn't click on it uh, it was already clicked on so to speak and what I did was I turned on info layer and when I did it popped this up and I just basically subtracted that which I'm not gonna do right now because I didn't have to do that in the other one and I want to show you that it might not necessarily need to do be done um, so let's go ahead and get out of that but the first time I tried doing that and then I had removed it didn't work and then I had removed that little bitty weed whatever it was that the little brown spot that was there and as soon as I moved removed the weed thing it let me make it flat inside the game with the terraform so if you're still having trouble you can try to remove that just this piece you don't have to get it all but anyway we're not gonna do that so what we're gonna do after you remove the trees the rock and the bushes okay and that grass we're gonna go up here to scripts to map, hover over map and go to create ground collision map click it be patient do not click you could you could crash it it's doing its thing see it's spinning now let it do its thing my computer's a little slow I got a lot on my C drive I gotta try to move some things around it would do a little better otherwise but your PC is probably gonna do the same thing if you have a you know too much on there or whatever just let it do its thing don't touch nothing and make sure it's done click it all right hopefully this is recording now what you could do you don't have to because you're already pretty close to it but take your career start point hit control B as in boy put it right here 
so you're close to it point the blue part toward it so you're facing it when you go in game all right so now all you gotta do is hit save hit save let it do its thing and then we're gonna go test it in game and if it works then that should be all you have to do unless the area you're tending to is not this spot and you have some kind of uh, like bushes or you have weeds or you have some other issue there get rid of all that then go back to scripts and create another ground collision in my opinion and then hit save okay so now that one's done let's go in the game all right click it and get in there and let's see what we got here you gotta remember which one it is I think I removed them all so I could get right to it without having to hunt for it yep right there and we're gonna go in we'll just leave all that there and see what we got here let's hope it works and let's hope this is actually recording the sound since the mic did that all right so we're gonna hit no and okay now here's the bumps that he couldn't or she get, could he or she i don't know which uh couldn't get to go down so see there there's where the other stuff is we're on the main farm all right so now what i'm going to do is click on the p on the keyboard p is in peter then click on the shovel click on start landscaping and look at there it's green now now before it was red like this and it was like nope you ain't doing it now the computer looks like it's jamming a little bit here uh oh might have to hit escape it's not moving oh there we go alright so anyway we see see now you can do it there and I'm not gonna do it obviously all of it but I'm just showing you that it that it works across there now you should be able to I guess you go down with the right mouse button so let's do that go down cause he, I think they were trying to flatten it whoever it was was trying to flatten it I think to get them more build maybe I'm not sure so but as you can see now that area lets you before it would say just it would it would uh, go red like that and watch what watch when I hit the button over here well it's not my computer's a little slow so bear with me it's not wanting to, there it is see it terrain cannot be modified here it's down there in the yellow blinking see now it's green over there see and it's going down and there you go so I'm gonna try to make sure I go low enough in case because they were you know I wanna make sure it goes any lower I hadn't tested it so it's going pretty low it should be pretty much below where it would have been or where they needed it alright there you go so it's the ground collision apparently that's the only thing I can come up with the other time I tried it I painted all this grass in the Giants editor and I thought that partly helped but it wasn't that so that's why I left it and didn't paint it this time to make sure that it, that I'm finding out what it really was because I thought I'd found it but I had forgotten to tell that person that I did do that ground collision thing I forgot I, that that was one of the steps I did and I forgot to write that so if they tried what I had said in the comment part it wasn't it wasn't I didn't say that part because I forgot that I even did that at that point so it, it works it goes down and there you go so anyway now you're able to do the terraforming and if you go in the Giants editor you move all this you'll be able, should be able to do it here but you got to take it all away take the bushes away take the rocks away take the trees away and then do the ground collision create ground collision uh, map and hit save and you'll be good to go but anyway we're gonna call that episode here I hope you enjoyed I know it was short but I just wanted to get this out there for that viewer I try to help everybody when I can I don't know every single thing but what I do learn or know or think I know I will let you know and then you can figure it out from there and if it's, you get some information then hopefully it helps you and you can take it from there.
But I appreciate everybody. Go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.